What's up folks, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna look at two calling using Grok and Lemma3. Now the idea is to start with an example from their documentation, and then we're gonna do a few experiments with profiling the speed of different models. And when I say models here, I mean Lemma3 models. And discuss a little bit about this idea that now we have super fast two calling. Okay. So I'm going to start with my import. So I'm going to be importing Rock. And if you haven't installed, you should uh, in, you should in your respective cloud environment just run pip install Rock, and that should get you set up. Now we're going to set up our client. And remember uh, the way that Rock set up its client is very similar to OpenAI. So if you're used to the ChatGPT API, you should be fine with Rock. The model we're going to use is from the example and the documentation. So we're going to be using the Lama three Grok seventy B. 8192 token size to use preview so it's their fine-tuned model for two calling and it's super good and super fast now we're going to define a very simple function to calculate the sum of some mathematical expression to calculate some math expression and <clears throat> then what we're going to do is we're going to set up the function to run the conversation which essentially means handling the loops that involve the two calling okay so we set up the messages parameter here which essentially is going to carry the list of messages exchanged with the model up to that point in this case we have the message from the system message to the system indicates what's the behavior we want from the model in this case we want the model to behave like a calculator and then the prompt from the user so essentially just sending a prompt to the user initially right and then we're going to define the tool right in this case we're just going to have one tool which is the calculator and we're going to define it just like we would in the OpenAI api so we define the type of the tool so in this case it's a function and then we set up some some of the properties of that function so the name a description the parameters of the function um and what kind of you know inputs does it take and what does it return etc and whether or not it's required now, once we've done that, we're going to set up the response from the model. So we're going to call the client.chat.completion.create. Again, very similar to OpenAI. We're going to set up the model. Again, the model is going to be the Lama 3 Grok 70B. We're going to give the messages that we just created. We're going to give the tools. We're going to set tool choice to automatic so that the model can automatically decide whether or not to call the tool. And then we're going to set the maximum number of tokens to 4096. That makes sense for problems that involve just outputting some calculation. And then once we get that response, we're going to get the response message. We're going to get the we're going to identify whether or not two calls were made inside of the response message. And then if two calls were made, we're going to set up our little dictionary containing the match between the name and the function. So inside of this uh, variable here called available functions, then we're going to append the response message to the messages uh, list that we defined earlier. So this is going to make it so that the messages list contains the history of the conversation. And then we're going to loop over the two calls that were made by the model. We're going to get the name of the, the tool. We're going to get the actual function by uh, using this available functions variable that contains a dictionary matching the name with the function and then we're going to get the arguments for running that function so we're going to run json loads and then we're going to get the arguments here and then we're going to make a call to the function so essentially function to call and then the expression the arguments and then we're going to append that response in an organized fashion, so with the two call ID, the role, the name, and the content to the messages parameter. And we're going to compile everything into a second response from the model. So the second response is going to be client.chat.completions.create model, the messages, and we're going to return that to the user, meaning we first make a first initial call to the model. The model decides to call a tool. We loop over the two calls, we append everything to the messages parameter, so we gather all the information from calling the tool, and then we send a second request to the model so that it will compile a proper response. So that's pretty much it. And then what we're gonna do is we have a simple prompt here, what is 25 multiplied by four plus 10? And we're gonna print the output um, of that request. So I can come here and I can say, I'm gonna activate my environment. 
it's lemma three grok to calling and then i'm just gonna say python grok to call and there we go we get super fast the response from the model right all right so this is the very basic how to do two calling with grok and its new fine-tuned lemma three versions uh, of their models what we're gonna do now is we're gonna say okay i want to run an experiment on multiple models instead of just the lemma 3 grok 70b so if we go over to their documentation website if i go over here and i say grok uh, fast to calling uh, docs we're gonna go over here and we're gonna say models and we're gonna look for two there we go so we have the 70b and then we have the 8b and these are the two that I would like to play around with and test. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da, a very custom, da -da 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 -da. Yeah. So let's test out the speed of this one. All right. So to do that, we're going to have to make some changes to this uh, script. What we would like to have is a profiling, a profiler function that will profile how fast this call, uh, calling this function is. And then we want to test it out. Now I could write this myself, but I can always just say, I can always just select all of this, hit Control I in S Copilot. So I can say, write a profiler function to measure uh, the the latency of the run conversation of to measure the latency of calling run conversation and run an experiment comparing uh, the current model used and and I'm going to indicate this model and I'm going to say this then I'm going to say this I think that is good enough. And I just thought, there you go. And now I'm going to run this. So now it's generating. Hopefully it's that's simple enough. Uh, let me see if I say accept. No, nope. that was a big mistake from GitHub Copilot, which is a very annoying. No wonder we're all using Claude 3.5 Sonnet now. So actually that's pretty, pretty much, let's do that right now. So let's just go over here. I'm going to say Claude, Claude AI, I'm going to copy this i'm going to say uh, modify this script with a profiler function to measure latency of two different models the other model is i'm going to go over here i'm going to say this I'm going to say this. I'm going to send that out. Let's see if Cloud 2.5 Sonic gives me a better response. All right, beautiful. Perfect. This is probably correct. So I'm going to copy this. We're going to paste this here. And let's review what, what we have from Cloud 2.5 Sonic. So again, we have the models in the list. That's cool. We have the original function. Then we have the run conversation function just as, as it was before. Perfect, perfect, everything good. And now we have our profile uh, profile function, which essentially will receive a model, receive a prompt, and they will measure the latency and re return the result and the latency. And then we have a function to compare the models, which essentially will loop over the models list, will capture the latency and the result from each call to the model using the profile model function. And then we're going to print that out to the, to the terminal, which is awesome it's because now I can just come over here and I can say Python grok tool call. Now that's very cool. So as we can see here now, what I'm noticing is of course, when we're, we go to profile anything, we never want to do it just once, right? If we just did a very a single test, we would get 0 0.70, 0 0.65 for Lemma 3 Grok AB versus 0 0.81 for the 70B. 
which is fine but let's uh, let's do that multiple times so i would like i'm going to use github Copilot for that let's see if this time it gets it right change this to run the task 30 times for each prompt all right beautiful now we accept okay so this looks good total latency average latency perfect okay, so now we can run that again so now it's 30 times all right which should be about 20 seconds maybe i don't know let's take a look so now it's going to take a few seconds this time because we're going to actually be doing multiple tests and let's see what kind of latency speed we get with each individual model so i'm gonna skip this part All right, so the test is finished and I got some weird results. As you can see here, the average latency for the big model was 2.05 seconds and for the small model was 2.75 seconds, which I think is related to my internet connection more than it is the speed of the actual API call or the, the model itself. So if I do individual tests, so let's create this function to profile with single tests again because the initial test we did we actually had the result of a 0 0.65 or 0 0.81 which is a bit more believable so let's go back here and average latency no we're just gonna say latency yeah we're just gonna return the latency uh total latency we're gonna delete Ta -da 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 -da. Beautiful. Okay, perfect. So now let's hit it. And uh, I'm going to call this profile model single test. I'm going to call this single test. And then I'm going to go over here. And in the compare models, I'm also going to write, going to add a little parameter here saying single test equals false. And if single test we're gonna we're gonna do yeah we're gonna do it like this profile the model we're gonna do four model and models and then we're gonna do this All right we're gonna copy this over and then profile model single test we're gonna copy that over here 
And we're not going to say model zero. We're going to say actual just model. Beautiful. And uh, this should not be like this. Should be like this. Beautiful. So if we select single test and then else, if we don't select, we do the regular test with 30 examples. This way I can use this function to profile easily with the single test parameter. Single test equal false, da -da 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 -da. and now we can say single test equal true. And now I can say grok and I can run it. And it should be fast. Yeah, 1.1. Yeah, these results look a bit more believable. We can run it again. 0 0.71 for Grok 80B and 1.1 for uh, Grok 70B. We can run it again. This time we got 0 0.49, 0 0.67. So yeah, so about, it feels like it's not that much faster than the 70B, but that's not really the point. The point is that you get really fast to calling using these models leveraging Grok. And uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty cool approach. Um, uh, speed is actually something fascinating. If we go over to the Grok website, uh, if we actually go over to Grok Fast AI Inference, they have this amazing tool that I'm going to demo here really quickly that I really like, which essentially combines audio so you can speak to the um, to the to the text input, and you're using the let's use the instant model so the llama 3.1 ab instant which just came out and it's really fast and it can do some really cool stuff one demo that i really like i'm going to do it right now i saw it on twitter and it's something like this create an itinerary for a trip from lisbon to paris so as you can see it's super fast but now we can go further tabularize this data nicely and i mean it's pretty amazing so imagine this speed of 750 tokens per second combined with the ability to call different tools to search the web to do this to do that and with the latest model 3.1 we'll have really really up to closed source level performance in terms of tool calling so Grok will make will make it available in a way of Grok will make this so fast that it can unlock different types of applications for this with this, which I think is a fascinating thing. So yeah, pretty neat. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you next time. Cheers.